Hi guys, um, this is Sushant Kochar. Today we are going to talk about what is one repetition maximum. So basically one repetition maximum is the maximum amount of weight in a particular exercise that you can lift for one repetition. So for example, um, you can lift 5 kgs for uh, 20 repetitions. Now you try lifting 10 kgs. 12 repetitions now you tried lifting 12.5 kgs you could get um, maybe 5 repetitions on 15 kgs you could get 2 repetitions now you lifted 17.5 kgs and you could get 1 repetition now you tried lifting 20 kgs and now you cannot get even 1 repetition so the maximum amount of weight which you could lift for 1 complete repetition was 17.5 kgs so your 1 repetition maximum is 17.5 kgs in that particular exercise Okay, so basically one is one repetition is repetition uh, for one repetition maximum is maximum for one repetition maximum amount of weight that you can lift. Um, the, this is uh, going to be used in future videos so I have talked about it in this video and one repetition maximum is measured um, usually when you are not tired so for example you have already done sets of a, a particular body part, let's say chest. You have already done 15 sets of uh, chest and you your chest is already tired. And now you want to measure um, one repetition maximum of uh, a particular exercise, which is, uh, which basically includes your chest uh, in the movement, basically uh, maybe as this primary movement or secondary. So, for example, bench press. So, that pressing movement includes your chest as the primary muscle and your chest is already tired. So, you will not get the maximum amount of uh, weight that you can lift for one repetition. So, uh, what is usually preferred is that you do good warm-up for that particular body part for which you are going to be exercising. Uh, so, you are going to be exercising for some body part. So, uh, any exercise that you do uh, targets at least one body part so warm up and if it targets multiple body parts warm up all of them so that there is good uh, amount of blood flow going through uh, that body part or those body parts uh, so that you do not get injured because if you uh, lift all of a sudden a lot of weight and your body was not uh, expecting it because you did not increase it uh, pro in increase it progressively so you might get injury so it is always 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 better to do good warm-up for uh, calculating your one repetition maximum do good, uh, good uh, amount of warm-up for all the parts that are going to be involved in that particular exercise for which you are going to be calculating one repetition maximum and make sure that you are not tired so uh, a decent approach for um, uh, this this exercise would be that i tried lifting i did some good warm-up then i tried lifting 5 kgs I could lift for one repetition, then I tried lifting 7.5, I could lift, then 10, I could lift for one repetition, then um, 12.5, I could lift for one repetition, and uh, let's say I went up to 20 kgs and then I could, didn't lift it even once, then it means I could lift 17.5 for one repetition, that means by one repetition maximum is 17.5, so that is what I want to tell. Uh, you like this video please like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye bye